My name is Rochelle. Um, most of us probably know someone who has suffered from anxiety, depression, or severe mental illness. Tonight, that person is me, and I would love to share my story with you. So recall, if you will, the last time your body felt really good. Maybe it was the brisk walk here, or a hug from a friend, a hearty laugh, or maybe a really good workout. On March 3rd, 2014, that was me. I just had a really great workout. I'd done a heavy back squat, I was walking home, I was feeling near perfect. Minus this pesky pinch in the back of my neck. So, you can imagine my surprise when my afternoon turned into nine days of seizures. Violent hallucinations, temporary loss of hearing and vision, and a laundry list of symptoms that no physician wanted to touch. And you can imagine my frustration when I kept putting the symptoms into the computer and they kept coming back mercury toxicity. And I remembered those pesky amalgam fillings I'd had for almost 20 years. So since no physician wanted to touch the conversation of mercury toxicity, I did what any educated, self-sufficient woman on a mission to get her health back would do. Anybody know what that was? Oh, well, I joined a Facebook group. <laughs> the Mercury Detox Facebook group. But more about the Facebook group in a minute. One stop on my wellness journey was a swank psychologist's office in Midtown Manhattan. Even though I had that laundry list of health symptoms, I thought that I might find some support from my peers. So the lovely, young PhD, she was so eager and excited, quickly and confidently diagnosed me. You're just having a psychotic break, probably from stress. Nothing that a short, possibly long stint in a psychiatric hospital combined with a hefty dose of benzodiazepines wouldn't fix. I was going to be just fine. So I left that office. I felt betrayed, devastated, and desperate. I wonder how that visit might have gone if that psychologist knew about tests like Igenix or if she understood the psychiatric symptoms of the fastest growing infectious disease in the country, if not the world. So I went home that evening to the comfort of my Mercury Detox Facebook group. I listed all of my symptoms. I listed all of the tests that I'd had. I listed every specialist that I'd been to. And within a matter of minutes, five responses, go quickly, get tested for Lyme's disease. I didn't know what that was. I did, and I was. Positive for Lyme's disease and a host of other pesky co-infections I would learn very, very well over the next year and a half of my recovery. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Facebook. Some might even say that Facebook saved my life. But we, as health consumers, deserve a healthcare system that provides better education than Facebook. Thank you. I've been a psychotherapist for almost 15 years. I teach students. Graduate School 101, when diagnosing a psychiatric client first, rule out medical. And then not another conversation about that. Maybe a discussion about how your depressed patient needs a thyroid panel, but certainly no discussion about how those thyroid panels are grossly inaccurate. It is my dream and my mission that health coaches, mental health practitioners, people who are seeing our mental health crisis and our Lyme disease crisis are available to accurately diagnose, educate, and get people the services they need, our desperately underserved chronic Lyme community. I deserved better when I went into that psychologist's office, and so do the patients that I serve. Thank you, James. Thank you for listening. <laughs>